Hey, TGIF, and thanks for clicking on Weather on Demand. I'm meteorologist Sean Householder for UpperMichiganStores.com. Your almanac from yesterday. Hey, it's another warm day. We're actually 14 degrees above average on the high end, and now we mix that with a warm low, and uh, we're about 13 degrees above the long-term average. Here's what we're watching today. Well, I think we start to see a cool down, and I think we'll end up just about average for what we would expect for this time of year. We keep a pretty persistent cloud cover, lingering showers. We will see gradual clearing, a few wink, wink, winks of sunshine, and uh, we talk about some cooler air. Here's what we're watching on the national map. Well, this latest weather disturbance creating a mess this morning all across the UP, and you can see most of that moisture now pushing into the eastern Great Lakes, the eastern UP, and also skirting uh, downstate Michigan and uh, some drier air on the back end of that system. So we do eventually clear out. But again, with winds out of the north, we keep a pretty persistent cloud cover and also some drizzle, which is not showing on the radar. We'll keep that drizzle through much of our Friday. Strong thunderstorm working across uh, Lake Michigan, just around uh, Seshua Point. I wouldn't want to be out there. 40 mile an hour gusts, some small hail and heavy rain. Also a lot of lightning associated with this storm system here. And that passed over the station earlier this morning. And uh, there were numerous lightning strikes. There were some ponding on the roadways. You can see all the heavy rain uh, indicated by the yellows, oranges, reds, and that'll continue pushing into downstate Michigan later today over towards those eastern counties and the Sioux. We do eventually dry out. We've got some breezy winds uh, for the most part working uh, occasionally above 25 miles an hour. For the most part, those winds will be uh, kept in check, suppressed to below 30 miles an hour, but that'll definitely blow your lawn, for lawn furniture around. Temperatures, well, it was a warm start still into the upper 60s, low 70s. As this is being recorded at the 8 o'clock hour, it's 70 in Marquette and in Escanaba, 72 in Menominee, 69 in Munising. The Sioux checking in at 69 this morning. Duluth feeling 68. Thunder Bay a little cooler, and they're closer to that cold front. So 66 there, 69 in Lansing, 70 in Milwaukee. We always like to use dew points to tell you how much moisture is in the atmosphere. Gives us an idea of how much humidity we're going to feel today. <laughs> We've been reading dew points into the mid and upper 60s all week long. And that's the same here. Uh, Twin Cities checking in at 71 for a dew point. So it's still plenty humid, but uh, it'll be cooler. So we do feel some relief, but really a, a large portion of uh, United States. In fact, a, a basically a third of the North American continent still above average temperature wise. It's 80 in St. Louis at the eight o'clock hour, but we will feel some relief. Winnipeg reading 64. And so they're on the backside of that cold front. Here's our main area of low pressure that brought all the storminess this morning. We will be on the back end of that, so we eventually see winds shifting out of the northwest and then to the north. That keeps persisting cloud cover. Chance for drizzle through much of the day Friday, but we do get in on a few peaks of sunshine, especially the second half of the day. And then uh, we'll be between these systems tonight into the first part of Saturday, so we'll see clearing skies and uh, mainly sunny skies by lunchtime Saturday. So that uh, allows for a dry start to the weekend, this Labor Day weekend, but We'll be uh, out ahead of this next front, so guess what? We see increasing clouds. It starts to get a little warmer, too, for our Saturday. Showers and storms work into those western counties Saturday night, lingering through central and eastern UP on your Sunday. We try to clear that out of here pretty quickly, but again, same as pattern as we're seeing today. Persistent cloud cover, some drizzle through much of the day Sunday. It'll be a breezy afternoon on your Sunday, too. Your day planner breaks down like this. Showers and storms ongoing this morning. Some areas of fog to contend with, especially along the Superior shoreline, but partial clearing by lunchtime. We keep the threat for some shower and thunderstorm activity. And uh, as we look ahead at this afternoon and evening, more and more sunshine works through. Rain chances become, uh, well, diminished quite considerably. Temperatures into the 70s. Now these breezy winds, that'll create a bit of a rip current uh, risk, especially along a superior shoreline in places like Alger Delta count or uh, Alger and uh, Marquette counties. Not a great beach day in those areas. You could see some high waves and some rip currents tonight. We're clear for the most part. I wouldn't be surprised by some patchy drizzle in those eastern counties. Overall, though, it's partly cloudy skies, temperatures into the 50s. Your Saturday starts partly to mostly cloudy, but we do see uh, increasing sunshine around lunchtime and into early afternoon and then cloud cover back on the increase for the second part of the day into uh, Saturday evening. Temperatures, well, they could be held into the upper 60s along the Superior shoreline, and you could touch 80 in some of the warmer spots inland, further south away from the lakes. 
Your TV six day forecast so Saturday, not a bad day. Sunday showers and some thunderstorms. It'll be a breezy day. Cool for your Labor Day Monday. Now we'll keep persistent clouds and some lingering showers, at least for the first part of the day. We'll dry out for uh, Monday afternoon. Temperatures struggle to break out of the 60s and the cool air sticks around next week. We do dry out turning to around seasonal, which is now into the low and mid 70s. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.